You're welcome to this morning Sunday service in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shall we now listen to this song? Psalm 145, verses 10 to 18. All your works praise you, Lord, your faithful people extol you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises, and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all those who fall, and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Amen. We will now have a song of adoration.
the first scripture reading is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16 to 19. Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16 to 19. Three times a year, all your men are supposed must appear before the Lord your God at the place you will choose, at the Feast of Unliving Bread, the Feast of Weeks, and the Feast of Tabernacles. No man should appear before the Lord empty handed. Each of you must bring a gift in proportion to the way the Lord your God has blessed you. Appoint judges and officials for each of your tribes in every town the Lord your God is giving you, and they shall judge the people fairly. Do not pervert justice or show partiality. This ends the reading. Thanks be to God. The second scripture reading is taken from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 to 10. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 to 10. Let us hear the word of God. Well, religion does make a person very rich if he is satisfied with what he has. What did we bring into the world? Nothing. What can we take out of the world? Nothing. So then, if we have food and clothes, that should be enough for us. But those who want to get rich fall into temptation and are caught into the trap of many foolish and harmful desires, which pull them down to ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a source of all kinds of evil. Some have been so eager to have it that they have wandered away from the faith and have broken their hearts with many sorrows. This ends the Bible reading. Let us hear the Gospel reading. This reading is taken from Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. Let us hear the word of the Lord. Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is it not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? This is the word of the Lord. We will now have the Bible lesson. Let us welcome Mr. Frederick Dennis to the stage to give us our Bible lesson for today. All to Jesus I surrender all. Oh 
I surrender all. that you want in life how many of you would want to be able to take your friends to some places and to show off indeed a lot of people love that and money the Bible says answers all things so money is quite important in life but the Bible teaches us that we should have a certain attitude towards money because the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. And unfortunately, because of money, people are willing to kill each other. People are willing to steal from other people. People are willing to do all kinds of things to a lot of people. And this, unfortunately, is the problem. And that is why the Bible teaches that we should have a positive attitude towards money. So what is the Bible talking about? Number one, the first thing each of us has to understand is that God gives us everything that we have. So all that we have, we may have worked very hard for it. Our parents may have given it to us. It may have been inherited or wherever it is from but we believe that God gave it to us and God would judge each of us according to how we use these resources that he's given us and it's not only money it could be talents some of us are very intelligent some of us can sing very well there are different kinds of things that we can do with what God has given to us and so the first thing we need to understand is that whatever we have is given by God and therefore we must not be proud we must not be arrogant we must not feel better than other people because of what God has given to us rather what we should do is we should learn to share the resources that we have with other people learn to be kind the Bible says that it is more blessed to give than to receive so share your money with other people. There are lots of people who need help in various areas. And the little that we have can be used to bless them. The little that we have can be used to bless them in several ways. And so please give of what you have. No matter how little it is. In the Bible, Jesus used a little boy who had five loaves of bread and two fish to feed the multitude of people and therefore it might be just one CD that you have two CDs that you have give it it might be a blessing to somebody in some community who needs help give of your time and your resource to the church to other communities you could help so many people with your talent and with your gift and God will bless you very 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 well number two give of your money to the church 
So give tithes, give offerings, give donations. All of these things help God's work to be done. And this can send the gospel to many parts of our country. There are many places where people have not yet heard the gospel. And they just need a little push, a little bit of money to pay for some Bibles, to pay for listening uh, 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 groups, to pay for different kinds of things. Even your old clothing, your, your things can be given out to other people and it can be very helpful and be a blessing. And God will bless you very much. Number three, be content with what you have because God knows all that you need and he will take care of you. He says we should not be anxious for anything. And so don't be nagging and whining and pushing your parents and, and trying to go all out just to do all kinds of, of, of things that other people, uh, 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 because you want to do things that other people are doing or because you want to have things that other people have. God knows that what you have is enough for you. He will take care of all of your needs. The Bible says he makes all things beautiful in his own time. He makes all things beautiful. And so be content with what you have. But finally, trust in God. And God will bless you in everything that you do. And so the lesson here is that money is good. In fact, the church needs money. We all need money to do all kinds of things. But do not let money become a master to you. Do not let money lead you into sin. Do not let money make you jealous, envious. Do not let it cause you to always be bugging and worrying your parents and doing all kinds of things. Do not let you do things that you know God would not like. And when you get money to make sure that it is a blessing and not a curse. And the Lord will bless all of us. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. We will now have a song taken by the three to five year old class. by the 69 year old class. All right, let's finish that with the dear uh, the daily prayer. Let's go. Dear Lord. The grace. The grace. The The The
Before his father, I commit each and every one of you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift the light of his countenance and walk you, even if it's through the valley of the shadow of death, and through the paths of teenage and youthfulness and adulthood, and even childhood, that he'll bring you to his throne and anoint you, give you his peace both now and always. Amen. <laughs>